Well, I be damned. Halloween's just around the corner, and what better way to celebrate than by playing a game that is fucking impossible. And not only is it impossible, but it is equally pointless and stupid as shit. This is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. By the way, my name's Artisan Royale, and I'm about to pretty much go wrist deep in farts. This fucking, this game is so stupid. It has a reputation for being a bowl of diarrhea. Now, I don't want to go ahead and just completely, you know, trash the game before we even play it, but trust me, I play this game for a little while before even making this video, and I gotta tell you, I'm still looking for a main vein to sever, because it sucks that much fucking asshole. Now, if any of you don't know who Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is, well, if you don't know who that is, and you've probably been living under a rock, or possibly smoking a few, but anyway, Dr. Jekyll was basically a doctor. It's a, a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde was a, a book written by Robert Louis Stevenson a long time ago about a doctor who had a lot of inner demons and had a lot of trouble, and he drank this elixir that kind of made him just go ape shit. Which I'm still under speculation that was probably cranberry and vodka. But that's just a personal thing. Moving on. Just by looking at the title screen, we can tell this game is stupid as hell. That's the longest arm I've ever seen in my life, and I don't even know why it's in this game, because Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde was not a fantasy about long-arm fucking crack goblins. It was a game about a man who went ape shit. Well, let me tell you, if you paid $60, $70, 80 for this game when it came out, you too would go ape shit considering now that you pretty much got bent over and ringed with a spike cactus dildo. Now let me go ahead and push start on this fucking steaming crock pot of dog shit. Let's do this. I can't even tell you how bad this game is. It is fucking impossible. Let's start. Look at that. Even the game itself, the hand grabs an invisible ball sack. Dr. Jekyll walks out of his study like he's starched his pants way too much. And then we begin the fun. Now, let's pretend we've never played this game before, right? We never played it before. We just check out our weapons. We have a cane. Okay, that seems fair enough. And we're walking. Can we run? Nope, just walk. We jump in the air like we've been doing steroids with Barry Bonds. We walk up here. Well, what's this? A bullet? Oh, wow. That was a fucking bomb. Apparently, this doesn't take place in England at all. It takes place in the middle of fucking Baghdad. Now I wake up now, apparently I was doing black tar heroin, and now I look like Rumple stilt skin. I got hit by something in the air which looked like a testicle, I was struck by lightning, I walk, I grab my face, have an epileptic seizure, now my ass is exposed in the air like I just got raped, and what's next? What in the fuck? Game over already? Yeah, that's what we're dealing with. That's what we're dealing with. I don't even know why I died. Oh my god. My God, this thing is fucking terrible. And I'm just, you know, giving you the rundown of why it's so bad. But seriously, like, I'm only supposed to give you the aspect of why it's impossible. But it doesn't make any sense, and that's what's so impossible about it. All right. Okay, apparently we have a little blonde-headed child, Macaulay Culkin Ripoff, who hasn't taken his Ritalin today. We have a gentleman here who looks like a giant walking pile of grape soda, and apparently he's Al-Qaeda's best dresser. The snazziest man alive is on the loose, and he's got C4. We got these dudes who are shit brown, and they walk like they've been doing Adderall. God damn it! Go, 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 go! We already know what happens with a bomb. By the way, you see that life bar at the top? That life bar at the top is probably about as useful as uh, wiping your ass with sandpaper. It's pointless. All it does is just make you wonder why it's there. And if that analogy didn't make sense, neither does this. Something else doesn't make sense. Look at this. I didn't know B. Arthur was going to be in the game. B. Arthur fucking cracked out on Lysol, apparently. Look at this. No, 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 no. Look at that. All right. Man, oh, man. Oh, my God. By the way, if you didn't see that slingshot rock fly from that kid, he's got an arm like Nolan Ryan. Holy sweet horse humping. Fuck, look at that. One bomb. One fucking bomb. My brain officially has diabetes.
Call Liberty Medical. Look at this. All right, now watch this. Apparently, I am assuming that in this picture right here, I'm Mr. Hyde. Why am I Mr. Hyde right now? Well, apparently when you die, you turn into Mr. Hyde. I guess that's how the story goes. If you had too much, it, it pretty much is like alcohol. If you had a bad day, too much comes your way, you get drunk, and then you fight Squidward, and you fight Krang from fucking Ninja Turtles hopping on one leg. Look at this. What is this? Why are there kidney stones in the sky? Why does the thing flicker and give me seizures? Why did fucking lightning strike me? Does anybody know? I don't. Look at that. Ass exposed in the air? That makes a lot of sense. Complete mental rape. Look at this. Game over. Your patients won't be around much longer either. Look at this. This is fucking awful. Good God. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. More like Dr. Jerk it and Mr. Hold these nuts. Let's try this again. As before, I was trying to give you a layout of what was going on here. Um, you know, it's really a Victorian style game. The music is basically just a ginormous, um, I don't know, big, huge fist in the ass. I know what they were shooting for here, but 8-bit sound just does not sound good as a Baroque, sophisticated set of notes. Look at this. All right, all right. If I can just get by the... No, 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 no. You fucking cock breath. God damn it. Got this little dildo dragon running around. Throwing rocks. No, no, no. Okay, 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 okay. No, 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 no. Jesus. Look at that. And every time he runs away, he comes right back. He's like, oh, you're not dead yet? Well, guess what? Here's another bomb. Damn it to hell. Look at that. Look at that. Yo, you fuck face. Come on, come on. No, no, no. Look at that. How many games can you say you got caught between a spider and a bomb? Somebody's been doing some drugs. Here we are. Here I am back in Crackland. Throwing whatever that seems to be. According to the manual, it's something called the Psycho Wave. The Psycho Wave? Yeah, that, that pretty much sums it up. It doesn't hit anything unless it's right there in your face. Now, I can only assume that what I'm doing right now is killing these things to get this little meter up here at the top when the meter well, I mean, you know, until lightning comes down and hits me right in the face. Dead. Man, oh man. Some things need to be answered. Fuck! I can't believe this game was ever made. I don't. I can't believe it was ever made. If if it was even a point, if there was even like a, a a quite notion that perhaps there was an ending to it, but I can't even imagine what the ending would be after going through all this. If there's like five or six stages, like a normal game, and you you would think like maybe at the end, you know, you get like a great ending or something like that. Like like I don't know, maybe Publishers Clearinghouse shows up at your door, but I just assume it's probably just some ginormous Sasquatch jacking off in your face. Holy shit. And this is supposed to be Victorian England? By the action of these people, this place was... This is Silent Hill. It's gotta be. Everybody here is possessed. Look at this. You motherfucker! Come back here, you little shit! I wanna slap that little blonde mopper off his punk-ass head. Look at... No, no, no. Look at that. And they dropped the bomb so inconspicuously. You fucking... God damn it. All right, all right, all right. Okay, I'm going to make it this time. Look at that. B. Arthur's not going to stop me. You're not going to stop me. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Okay, here we go. I think I'm actually getting somewhere now. Finally, a change of scenery. Okay. Walking on the bricks. Okay. Got the nice little kitty here. Kitty, there we go. Kitty's nice. That's the... Wait a minute, kitty. What? What the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with this cat? God, man. Look. What the fuck? Jesus, Cujo. Calm your ass down, you canine dick face. Everything in this game just wants to slaughter you for no reason. Jesus. Oh, the bomb pissed off kitty. You little fucking feline fuck. Man, oh man. 
Let's see. All right. I mean, everything about this game is bland. The the background is bland. The 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 graphics are horrible. You have a weapon that doesn't do a goddamn thing. Go, cool. son of a bitch. Okay, you know what? Fuck this. I, I'm 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 gonna beat this game. I'm at least gonna get to the end of this level. I'm gonna get to the end of it. I think I have a chance. I think I have a chance. Okay. Looks like the coast is clear. Thank God. All right. Whew. I don't know why he's holding that cane. He walks like it's stuck up his ass. All right. Here we go. Now this, I remember, as far as I could make it, was to the graveyard. Apparently the graves are open. We got zombie grape sodas walking around. And birds that shit half their own size. Look at that. Son of a bitch! You know what? What does this even mean? What is even going on right here? Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, I got one more chance. Here we go. Here we go. Doc, Mr. Hyde's not fucking around. He's had a rough day. His, his jacket's been itching him. He, he, he can't walk straight. It's hot as hell. He, he lives in a town where people have been giving him a bunch of shit. Here we go. Here we go. All right, here we go. Here I am just... Just... Throwing the fucking... All right, god damn it. All right. I just gotta do... I just gotta get that stress meter back up. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> you know what? If I was a doctor and I was going to help people, I sure as fuck wouldn't be like this. What the fuck is wrong with this game? Who the fuck? Dude, Robert Louis Stevenson probably crawl out of his fucking grave and just skull fucked whoever made this game. I don't know. I don't know who in their right mind made this. I don't know why they made this. It doesn't make any sense. People actually paid money to play this piece of shit. The strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, somebody just barf on my face. I've had just about enough of this game. Truthfully, somebody just go ahead, nail my dick to the floor, and set me on fire. Fuck this shit.